Please stand. Hi. And now we can step forward. John. Oh, John. Very nice to meet you. This is a Y'all may be seated. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the marriage of Tom and Shirley and holy matrimony. The bonding covenant of marriage was established by God in creation. And our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by His presence and first miracle at a wedding. Wedding in Canaan of Galilee signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and His church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union. <laughs> Tom, it better not be a woman. <laughs> Surely. I'm right here. Hold that phone. Okay. Sorry. No, no, that's, that's good. That's good. You know, when you're a minister and you get a phone call, you're always thinking God may be calling. You know. So, <laughs> into this holy union, Shirley and Tom now come to be joined. If any of you, and that should have asked this, said this first. <laughs> if any of you have just cause that they may not lawfully be married, speak now or forever, hold the, their peace. <laughs> Shirley. Yeah, if it would have it, been Shirley. Before God in this congregation, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage, to share all the joys and sorrows of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Do you, Tom, take Shirley to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and to cherish as long as you both shall live? I do. Right answer. <laughs> Do you surely take time to be your lawfully wedded husband to live and cherish as long as you both shall live? I do. Very good. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? I do. Very good. <laughs> I'm going to share with you some, some scripture and then just some random thoughts. The, the passage is from Paul's letter to the Colossians. So I want you to listen. Now, he's not writing this about marriage, but there's a lot of good marriage advice in it, so I want you to listen. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if any has a complaint against another, forgive each other just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which you were indeed called into the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God, and whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Amen. <laughs> Well, here we are. Yes, we are. Phone is already rung, so we can't ring again. And, and here you are. And you, you gathered with your friends and your family, 
standing up here looking, well, frankly, probably looking better than you've looked in a long time. That's true. That's true. You know, looking pretty good, right? Yeah. And uh, y'all have reached a certain age that you have experience in life. So I'm going to tell you something you already know and that the people here know. Today will be the most challenging day in your marriage. Today is it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. My gosh. Today is, today is easy. It's really easy. This is pretty challenging. This is pretty challenging. I know, we surely call it. Um, today is really easy. I mean, tomorrow it gets hard. And it doesn't matter how long y'all have known one another, it, it is hard to be in a relationship with another human being. It takes a lot of adjustment and, and change. And you know, sometimes it's the little stuff that trips us up. We can handle the big, but it's the little stuff that gets us into trouble. For, a, for example, Tom. Now, you used to pour cement, right? Yeah. That, I remember that. Uh, now, but you're not doing it, you're retired. No. Okay, so you don't even like cement no. anymore. Don't even like it. But, but you, you are active, right? Yeah. What are some of the things that you really enjoy doing? Being with this one. Oh, right answer. Boy, that's a good one. Yeah, okay, that's, that's good enough. What, what, what else do you like doing? Yeah, just playing in the garden and outside. Oh, garden, good. Outside. Do you, do you ever have hard days? I do. Difficult days? Okay. When you're really tired? Yeah. No, just exhausted. Now, when you are really tired, exhausted after a difficult day, what is it that you want to do? Sleep. You want to sleep. Now, see, you nailed the answer earlier, but you missed this opportunity. The right answer was spend time with Shirley, but that's neither here nor there. So, you, you want to sleep. Now, where do you say You got a chair, or would you stretch out like in bed? On the couch. On the couch, okay. You are there on the couch, hard day. You are so tired. You feel your eyelids closing. Oh, it feels so good. You're so relaxed. You're just about to drift off. And then your lovely wife walks into the room and she said, Tom. What are you doing? We, well, even worse than that. She said, we need to... A word that sends chills through every married man. We need to what? We need to talk. Now, when she says we need to talk, what are some of the things that go through your mind immediately? I better be quiet. That's she, right. She's going to do all the talking. That's right. Me. You're going to be doing very little talking. That's right. That's right. Other than saying, I'm sorry and I won't do it again. The other thing you can be sure of is you won't be taking a nap anytime <laughs> soon, right? Right. That's one of those little bumps that I was talking about. And Shirley, you've known Tom for a while. Yeah. Yeah, just, just a couple of weeks. Yeah, probably. About, okay, yeah, okay. Y'all you, you go back a long way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you remember when you first met him? And that's a while back. Oh, 1964. Oh, 1964, a wonderful year. Yeah. Uh, when you met, you remember some of those little outside of the uh, mullet. No, you, you had the mullet. Uh, the, um, <laughs> the, you remember some of those traits that Tom had? They were, when you first saw him, were, you thought were, were kind of cute. Oh, he was adorable. Oh, he was adorable. He was I bet so he was. Look at him. He's pretty adorable right now. I know, but that, yes. that, you know, his black hair. Oh, oh, oh. really? Really handsome. Oh, really, really handsome. And he's handsome. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's good that you added <laughs> that he's handsome now. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you remember some of those, those traits, well, good looking guy, but some of those traits that you were sure once he lived 60 more years, he wouldn't be doing those things. He will have kind of outgrown them. No. No. Does it, does it, well, I don't know. Does he still do some of them? Yeah. Yeah, he he's, still does he's some very, of them. Yeah, he's very kind. Oh, kind. That's good. Very That's kind. good. He's, okay. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. Do anything I ask. Near, or, that's even better. Yeah. 
Well, sometimes when you see those kind of traits, it don't make you mad, but you know, kind of wish the socks weren't off the, on the floor. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, wish the shirt weren't on the banister. Yeah, forgot about that stuff. You know, uh, dr drive a little fast, maybe a little too close to other cars. Those are the kind of things that can really kind of irritate you. That's another one of those little things that can trip us up. I'm glad you picked the passage you picked because when those little things come up, I want you to remember what I just read. And if you apply it to your marriage, in other words, if every day you choose to be loving and kind to one another, and if you choose to listen when you would rather be talking, and to give when you really think you should be receiving, but most of all, if you make the decision every single day, to love one another, and love is always a decision, it's not a feeling, it's a decision. If you make the decision every single day to love one another, I will promise you, not only will you get through these little bumps that come up in every life, but your relationship will be an example for others. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, bless Tom and Shirley as they pledge their lives to each other, that their love may continue to grow and be a true reflection of your love for us all through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, would you pass your flowers over? And would you face one another? The joining of two people in marriage is a historic tradition, binding couples together with their love and devotion to each other. The vows they make today represents this commitment to their partner and serve as a foundation of their union. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength. With loving someone gives you deep courage. Now, before you say your vows, I want you to join hands. And right now, I want you to take a half step closer. A little half step. Oh, very good. I want you to look into one another's eyes as deeply as you can. Because I want you to remember this moment. Because you're about to make vows to one another. And I'm going to tell you something. The vows are going to change everything. Because from that time on, you will no longer be looking at the future in terms of me and mine, you and yours, it will always, always be us and ours. And so Tom, looking into Shirley's eyes as deeply as you can, repeat after me. I, Tom, take you, Shirley. I, Tom, take thee, Shirley. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge myself truly. I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. You're done. Shirley, looking into his eyes as deeply as you can, repeat after me. I surely take you, Tom. I surely take you, Tom. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Thank you. The, right, the rights you exchange today are the physical embodiment of the love you share. They represent, these, these rings represent the commitment made today that 
devotion to yourself, of yourself to your partner, as a continuous, unending bond. Whenever you look at your rings, remember the feelings you share this day. And let the love and devotion you have to each other continue to fill each day of your marriage. As I now ask Tom and Shirley to repeat their vows, Tom, would you place Shirley's finger on the fourth finger of her left hand? And repeat after me. Shirley, I get, Shirley please take this ring. Shirley, please take this ring. As a token of my love for you. As a token of my love for you. Above all others. Above all others. I promise to respect. I promise to respect. And support you wholeheartedly. And support you wholeheartedly. <laughs> through whatever challenges life may bring. Through whatever challenges life may bring. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that surprised me <laughs> when I only got one. <laughs> uh, Shirley, yeah. would you place Tom's ring on the fourth finger of his left hand? And repeat after me. Tom, please take this ring. Tom, please take this ring. As a token of my love for you. As a token of my love for you. Above all others. Above all others. I promise to respect and support you wholeheartedly. I promise to respect and support, support you, you wholeheartedly. Through whatever challenges life may bring. Through whatever challenges life may bring. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. Good. Let's have a word of prayer together. Eternal love, uh, eternal God whose love is the source of everything good. We pray that the knowledge of your love may inspire this union that's now begun. Grant that Shirley and Tom, who have dedicated themselves to one another in your name, grant that they may live in harmony and true companionship throughout their lives together, seeking one another's welfare, bearing one another's burdens, and sharing one another's joys. Give them the resources to live without the fear of poverty and grant them joy in their home. Father, Keep them true to the faith in which this marriage has begun, that they may always walk within the light and love of Christ, strengthened by the Spirit against all temptation. And when mortal life is over, bring them in your mercy to the joy of that life, which shall have no ending in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. With the power invested in me by God, and the great commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I pronounce you to be husband and wife. Not yet. <laughs> but thanks for the thought. As God's own, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, and crown all these things with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Amen. Tom, you may now kiss your wife. <laughs> And it is with great pleasure that I introduce for the very first time in human history, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Sund. Please stand.